there are two legal doctrines, legal contract doctrines, that have come up with a lot of frequency recently. And those are force majeure and impossibility of contract. They're two legal definitions or legal nuances that you learn about in law school. And so far, they don't come up a whole lot. But with COVID-19 and parties' performances or ability to perform under contract being changed dynamically and dramatically, well, force majeure and impossibility are coming up with a lot of frequency. So what are they? What is force majeure? What is contract impossibility? Well, force majeure, it's a French word for a superior force. And what that means is some type of intervening or superior force has come into play with this contract obligation that now makes the contract difficult or impossible to perform. With force majeure, it's something that's actually defined in the contract. So if you pull out your old dusty contract, you take a look at it, or you look at some of these new contracts that you may be entering into, a lot of times there's a provision that says force majeure, and it defines it. Well, the first element of force majeure that has to be met in order to invoke it is that it has to be defined within the contract. It could be an act of God, uh, terrorism, war, something that comes into play, a superior force that may change your ability to perform. So when you're considering or looking at whether you, you may find relief of force majeure in your current lease or contract, or whether you need to add this provision in a new lease or contract, well, make sure you look at the definitions. What does it include? Every contract is different. Some include a couple items of force majeure. Some may include a dozen items of force majeure. But it's important to know that force majeure will not apply, and it will only apply, to the items specifically listed in your contract or lease. Similar to force majeure, you also have impossibility of contract. Now, this is a legal doctrine outside of the four corners of the contract or the four corners of your lease that may come into play. It's very similar to force majeure, but it's not defined. For impossibility of contract to come into play and affect your lease or affect your contract, well, it has to be an objective impossibility. It has to render performance absolutely impossible for anyone under those objective circumstances. And it may just suspend the obligation. It may not cancel them entirely. The Virginia Supreme Court has said, though, that if it makes the burden or if it makes it more burdensome to perform the contract, then rather than suspending it, it may actually cancel the contract. So it's important to look at the facts of your circumstance, to look at everything that's going on in your situation, your contract, uh, your performance, to determine whether it's just a suspension of your obligation or whether it terminates the contract entirely. And so when you're looking at new contracts, when you're looking at old contracts, take a look at those provisions, take a look and see if you understand what exactly is outlined, and perhaps it may impact you. It may be a positive impact, it could be a negative impact, but either way, you being equipped to know how it will impact you will per better prepare you to plan for the future, for the next week or for the next month. So if you have a question, if you're not sure about force majeure or contract on possibility, if you're dealing with a situation right now that may invoke one of those provisions, well, give me a call. Give me a call. Go to my website, mccormickpc.com. Check out some of the information we have there. But I love to chat with you. I love working with business owners. I love protecting business owners and making sure that their business is better going forward. So give me a call. I look forward to talking with you. Thank you.